What do you think are your team's chances in the cup? We're here to win. To win the World Cup? What does we're here for? A game that united the country, they called it transformational. 83 is a film made by the acclaimed Bollywood director Kabir Khan. It's about the 1983 World Cup, won by West Indies. An extraordinary victory, really, because, get this, West Indies had only ever, well, India had only ever won one World Cup match previously. West Indies had won the previous two World Cups, 1975 and 1979, with Clive Lloyd and Viv Richards as uh, the man of the matches. So they were looking for a hat-trick. They didn't get it. India were too good for them on the day. It was a phenomenal day at Lords and a phenomenal day all over India. Sunny Gavaskar is alongside me. He played in the match, opening the batting for India. Sunny, um, it really was. It's a bit difficult to so, sort of explain to people how, we, when one thinks that Indian cricket w was so much a part of Indian lives, it's odd that, you know, you hadn't done such a thing before. No, I mean, our first two World Cups were pretty forgettable. Uh, but what I think made the big difference uh, was the fact that this was seen live. This was one of the few live matches that India had the good fortune to see. And cricket, as you know, is widely followed in India. And in colour television, to see the Indian team fight back the way they did uh, after being dismissed for only a, a, a 183, and that is the reason why it's called 83 as well. And it was just unbelievable. It was just unbelievable from there to, to go on uh, to dismiss a strong West Indian batting lineup for just 140. Amazing. OK, well, while we're chatting, there are times in this business you've just got to come clean. And we've had a minor technical fault here because we've lost our monitor picture down there. So we're going to talk about the pictures we're going to show you in a second um, and we'll get our, our tech team to fix it up. I think maybe we've pulled the plug out or something. It kind of happened. Sonny, let's go back to the 1983 World Cup because it was very different then. There were only eight teams, two groups of four, and you played a couple of matches against the other three teams in, in your group. That is correct. I think uh, the, it was divided into two groups, and so we played each each uh, country, the other three uh, countries uh, twice, and uh, we lost to the West Indies once, we lost to Australia once, but we won the other matches, and that's how we qualified for the semi-finals. In semi-finals, we were up against England, the hosts, and uh, everybody actually expected that England would, you know, because they had a very good team too, that they would win. But we dismissed them for 213 and got the runs with uh, plenty of overs to spare. And there were some extraordinary performances, uh, not least um, the trouble you got into against Zimbabwe. So you, you did win a couple of early games, then you lost a couple, and basically you needed to beat Zimbabwe for the second time, having already beaten them once. Um, you were nine for four at a little ground in Kent called Tunbridge Wells. Beautiful little ground covered with rhododendrons and it would have been a nice country crowd there, sort of six or seven thousand people. And you were nine for four, 17 for five. You ended sort of 70 for six, but all the while Kapil Dev was about to change the game. Yes, and I think that's, that, that makes for a very good scene in, in the film. Kapil went in for a shower. He had he'd bowled at, in the nets, uh, he had done a lot of exercise, so he went in for a shower as we went out to bat. And we started losing wicket just like that. And uh, the, 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 the reserve players were knocking on the door and saying, come on Kapil, two wickets down. And he thought it was all, all a joke. And when he actually opens the door, he's pretty angry. Uh, that's the scene. And he opens the door, he's pretty angry, and then suddenly sees all these four batsmen who, who were supposed to be at the crease are uh, in the in the pavilion. And he's, you know, I mean, it is just one of those. It's one of the great scenes in the movie. And then he went out and played what I think is the best one-day innings that I've had the good fortune to see. 175 not out. The first 70, 80 runs, there was nothing up in the air. Yes, I think the slash up there and the flick up there, that was it. But otherwise, after 80, he started hitting the ball up 
man, it was some innings. I've seen some very, very special innings from Indian players, and I talk about Indian batsmen, Sachin Tendulkar, Virat Kohli, uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Amazing, amazing one-day innings. But tell you what, 17 for five, to get a 175 not out after that, <laughs> it is unbelievable. Uh, and Zimbabwe were a good side back then. They, 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 they beat Australia a couple of days be before. They were threatening everybody. In fact, a key figure in their side back then became the England coach eventually, Duncan Fletcher. But there were other famous Zimbabwean names. Anyway, um, I think we've got pictures working again, but um, we're going to show a trailer here. Okay, so this is a this is a Bollywood movie, and it's about cricket, and it's a really good watch. Well, India must be still recovering from the double thrashing they received from the West Indies and Australia. If they win today by a huge margin, they're still in the tournament. If not, so long. Caps, it's two down. Caps, Nal and the Manu. That's another one gone. Caps three down. Kya bachpana hai? Just shut up. This is a disaster. Caps four out of game. It's an important match. We be serious, new na? Eh? Mazak ki bhi had to be. Score kya? No run. Four wicket down. Where is our team bus? No bus here for Indian team. आराम से मारना चिका। माइंड नेट प्रैक्टिस है। हमको चुमा टुकु टुकु खेलने नहीं आता। और कपल ऐसे समझा दे मैं सर पे मार देनी बॉल। रैन तो मध्य पर नहीं आती उसे डिफेंस। चिके उधर तू इनको आग में तो मार देना। श्रीकांत। बेस्ट फ्लॉप। भाई बल्लू, इसे बोल कल तुझे देख लूँगा। बात सुना कल बड़ा मैच है ना? इसे do and die क्या है? You mean do or die? So now in 1983 we come here and our captain says we'll beat the West Indies. एक क्या पागल हो गया रे हमारा captain? Gentlemen line up please. Everybody look in the lens. What do you think are your team's chances in the cup? We here to win. To win the World Cup. What as we here for? I don't think the Indians can quite see the ball. It's moving too fast for them. India in big trouble now. Two wickets down in quick succession. Ek baad ek balle baaz. Match khadam, World Cup khadam, captain khadam. Oh, ek match to jit ke jao, ek. Twenty years before, we won freedom. But the greatest thing is the captain. Ground ke baar hamari life mein kuch bhi ho raha. जब हम ये यूनिफॉर्म पहनकर ग्राउंड में उतरते हैं, तो हमारा एक ही मकसद होता है, जान लगाके देश के लिए खेलना। I say before we here to win। Film 83, by all accounts, a brilliant film. And the first thing to say, Sonny, is what a job the actors have done in being you and Kapil and company. Unbelievable. I mean, they got our mannerisms, our style, the way we, you know, everything, the way we maybe, you know, uh, had a little sort of, you know... Idiosyncrasies. Idiosyncrasies. And... Unbelievable. I mean, uh, they, 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 they really worked hard. Balvinder Sandhu, the, one of the members of the team, actually coached them in terms of bowling as, as, as well as batting. And... Uh, that is, that is an actor called Tahir Raj Bhaseen. 
and uh, and he he played me. He's a little taller <laughs> than me, of course, <laughs> uh, and he he played me. But he didn't have much of a role to play because I didn't have much of a role to play in that <laughs> in that campaign. You got out early, didn't you? I mean, we just remind everybody of the match. You got 180. Uh, 180 odd batting first, but you got out early to Andy Roberts, I think. Yes, I did. Uh, I, I'd been uh, Joel Garner had bowled an unbelievable uh, over to me, just everything flying past my face. Joel and I had uh, shared a flat in, uh, in in Taunton for Somerset, and uh, so therefore, when he was, you know, I mean, he was uh, bowling these deliveries. I said to him at, at the at the end of the follow through, "How about one off the mark for for your old flatmate?" Let's have a look at it. So the West Indians realize. are walking out the onto the field of play. The this is the strongest Indian side in the world. Back-to-back -to -back -back world champions. You're out there with uh, Krish Shrikanth, who played very well. You're at this great ground, Lords, in London. If anybody hasn't seen it, special place to be. Here we go. Oh, Sonny, you're fallible after all. Absolutely, that back and across movement towards the off stump. No, shouldn't have made that. Should have been just back and back. So I'd have a better idea of where my off stump was, but never mind. The team won, that's the important thing. I suppose the story, though, is the fact that you defended 180 famously with really a sort of bunch of medium paces. Well, I think what, what happened was that the, the pitch had a lot of grass on it. It was almost as if we all, when we went to the, to, to the ground and we saw from, from the, uh, the, the, the Lord's balcony, we said, what's happened? I mean, just because England's not caught into the finals, the groundsmen have not shaved off the pitch or what? But in the end, that very pitch came to our help. Because, as you said, we had medium pace bowlers who used the conditions brilliantly. There was, of course, Kapil Dev, but Roger Bini, Madan Lal, Balwinder Sandhu, they all bowled splendidly. And Jimmy Amanath with his, you know, yeah. what do you call dibbly dobbly uh, stuff. And he'd batted well. He'd made 20 odd against an attack. Listen to this attack holding Garner, Robertson, Marshall. All right, they bowled them out for 180. So every run had counted, and even the 20s and 30s meant masses in defence of that score. And then Viv Richards and Clive Lloyd, as I said at the start of this segment, uh, men of the match in, in the previous two finals. If you can get them out, you always feel you have a chance. And, and the, the catch that got Viv Richards out by Kapil Dev, this was just something, wasn't it? Unbelievable. All, all the fielding coaches will tell you how to keep your eye on the ball and run sideways. And, and take that catch. What an amazing catch that was. was good and then, of course, this is the uh, Clive Lloyd dismissal. He he had a bit of a hammy, so he had a runner at that point. Uh, and obviously, his, his foot was not quite going to the pitch of the ball. And that upish uh, catch was taken by Kapil Dev. So Viv got a, a, a thrilling 30-odd, and you must have thought, deep down, I don't know what the score was, let's say it was 60-odd, 70-odd for two, you must have thought, uh-uh. Yes, I think at that stage we were thinking that maybe he's, he's, he's in a rush to get back to Taunton because, you know, the next day was a Sunday league game. Uh, so maybe but there was no reserve day as far as I recall. Uh, so that maybe that, uh, that's the reason why I was playing the way he was. Let's have a look at how it all climaxed because now the guys start to pick up the tail. First to go, well, Geoffrey Dujon plays a nice pull stroke for four. You can see how the crowd in those days sort of ran onto the field in celebration of moments, the West Indians there. In partnership with Martin and, uh, Marshall. It, it really was an... an steer the West Indies through the wild. I wonder if we... Have we got sound on tape there or not? I can hear a partnership with Malcolm Marshall. That was a threatening partnership, as I remember. It, it was. It was. Uh, and at that stage, because Jeffrey Dujon, the dangerous batsman, we knew that Malcolm Marshall could also hang in there. The so we were just getting just a touch worried. Yeah. Was called in. And then Kapil played a master stroke in bringing Mohinder Amanath into ball. His first ball... This is, of course, uh, the second wicket when uh, Marshall uh, Who was caught. Who caught that slip? <laughs> <laughs> that, was my, that was my only contribution to that uh, win. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Malcolm Marshall out. Kapil Dev comes in now. That's Andy Roberts, LBW, I think. Yes, yes Andy, Andy, Andy Roberts, LBW, uh, to Kapil Dev. And there's somebody trying to tell Andy something, some English supporter trying to maybe commiserate with him. Can't. Only, um, only surprise Andy didn't swap him with the bat. And that is Michael holding out. And when the ball ricocheted off, it, I was there. I picked that ball up and I ran. Maybe even Usain Bolt wouldn't have caught me then, I can tell you that. And that ball is still with me. So prior to this World Cup, World Cups in 75 and 79, India had only West won Indian one despair, World Cup match, and that was against East Indian Africa. Indian and I don't mean to patronise East Africa, but you'd reckon to beat East Africa. Yes, that was the only game we had won until then. We had even lost against Sri Lanka in the second World Cup. 
uh, when Sri Lanka wasn't even a test playing country. So yes, I, our, our record in, in, in the World Cup was not very good. Well, what a thing, what an occasion, and uh, it's been called transformative. It, it made you proper superstars in India, didn't it? I suppose it opened up a whole new commercial world. There is Kapil Dev, the Indian captain and one of the greatest all-rounders of all time, holding that trophy between, well, between great players who became huge names in India and before a crowd that worshipped every step that you've taken ever since, really. Yes, I think, you know, I mean, I see the film, I see, see these highlights and I have goosebumps still. That's the greatest moment of my life. India winning the World Cup is the greatest, greatest moment of my life. Subsequently, of course, with the MST's team winning in 2011, 2007, 2013, those have been huge highs as well. But really, I think this is the, the greatest moment of my life. Wow. Well, I know you enjoyed the film. Uh, let's hope it gets to South Africa sooner rather than later. Um, absolutely marvellous to talk to you. Sorry about the little glitch at the beginning, but uh, you want to come. You want to come and watch another film with me because I... we did. We went to the movies once. Nagpur. Nagpur, yes. Wasn't it? <laughs> they closed the whole of the dress rehearsal just for us two. It wasn't really for me though. It was kind of more for him. <laughs> um, okay, 83 is the movie. Sunny is one of the stars of it. It's a great watch. We hope you enjoyed that little segment.